Hello everyone, and welcome to the Planet Zoo Beta. So today we are building a Lima exhibit, but unfortunately there is no walkthrough at the end, like I would normally have, no proper walkthrough that is, because the beta has been unkind to me. Because um, in day one when the beta came out, I couldn't even play. The main menu would come up for two seconds and then the game would crash. And then after, since after that, the beta, they won't allow me to save. If I try and save in career mode, the game crashes, and in franchise mode, it just says, fails to save. So, this Lima exhibit is only going to be here now, and I couldn't save it, because later when I tried to record the walkthrough, or earlier, I rather should say, the game crashed. So, there's no walkthrough, and the file was gone. And I can't upload to the Steam Workshop either, because, I don't know, that's the way the game is. That's it. It doesn't like me. I don't know why. But anyway, I still went through all the effort of building the exhibit. You can see some of it, just not the way I wanted to present it. But we are making a cool little Lima Island here. And see, I'm working on the shelter at the beginning of the video. I was working on the little moat that surrounds the Lima Island. So it's cool. As you can see, we're working on these little doors that the lemurs can go in. The really cool thing about Planet Zoo is the climbing frame, because the animals can actually interact with it. So it's something I've been doing in Zoo Tycoon 2 for a while, it's just, that was decorative. Now the actual animals can actually interact with it, it's just, I don't know how they interact with my climbing frame, because the game crashed before I got to place them down. As you can see, yeah, now we're finishing the exhibit. And a really weird thing is that you can only have one habitat gate in the exhibit, which is like, I think really dumb. I want to because usually an exhibit might have two entrances, two exits, one for the night room, one for the actual exhibit, which is what I was trying to do here, but it didn't work. And, oh, the pathing tool is such a pain in this game. Like, if you want a big round plaza, well, you're going to have to have a lot of holes in it. And here especially what I encountered was, you can't have the path too close to the fence. I don't know why, it's just annoying. So if I wanted the staff gate in the actual night room, it wouldn't have worked anyway because of the path. can't be close to the fence. And th you can't edit the terrain around the path, which made building this moat a huge pain. I have no, I don't understand why, but it's so annoying. Frontier, you really have to overhaul the entire path system. Another thing, this water. This water was around the moat, was supposed to go to the top level, but I don't know what happened. But it, because it only goes halfway now, and to fix it, I think I would have had to tear, torn apart the entire moat. So. I wasn't going to do that, I think it's just going to settle for halfway. I think maybe we can just say the zoo is in a dry season. Yeah, the country is in a dry season, so the zoo is saving water, filling the moat down to halfway. But yeah, now we're finally working on the inside of this little night room. So we built those little gates and those lemurs can probably go across those, those beams, I think. I don't know, I've never seen it in person. Oh god, I really want to see them climb on my little climbing frame. But yeah, we just pulled the inside of the night room. No guests will see this, this is just for them to sleep and such. So we just pulled some climbing structures and that. But anyway, this game has been quite good so far, except for the fact where it won't allow me to play properly because I can't save games. Like everyone else is having fun in franchise mode, I can't do it. So if I make any f uh, videos in the future, it'll probably just be like this or once off exhibit that will be built once and then never be seen again. Not even on the workshop. Well, I guess there's a chance that all the workshop items will be disposed of anyway if something goes wrong. So, I guess even if it was working, all the things I bought will never be seen again. So, yeah. As it is, it's a bit weird with the building because the. As for the. I think the horizontal plane, you can only move in 4 meter gaps or 2 meter gaps as opposed to the. There's no quarter meter gap, which makes building a little bit difficult, as it is. But still, you can work with it a bit. You can see I'm struggling with the roof right now. I think I just skip past it in a bit. But yeah. I don't think I'll be playing franchise mode in the full game, because... Oh, these animal needs, they annoy me so much. It's just because they're so unrealistic. Like, I bought the Nile Monitor exhibit, and I think... It was like a, I don't know, probably like 10 by 7 meters or so. He was really big. He was big enough for a Nile monitor and then Nile monitor still said, nope, not enough space. It was, it was so annoying and obviously the Nile monitor is like, there's too many plants. I don't like the bamboo in the back of the exhibit. I don't, ugh, the animal needs, it's just, it's so unrealistic. These animals wouldn't complain about 
like if a bear sees a palm tree the bear wouldn't be deathly allergic to a palm tree I don't think and it's, it's just annoying to me how the animal needs work but I guess it's something for the management part which is what people will be doing in franchise mode I don't care too much about management I'm I find ah, I get bored easily in management type things I like the creative aspects which is what I'll mainly be doing in Planet Zoo and it does seem to suit well it's just like I said some points like I'm pretty sure we'll be able to turn off some of the animal needs in uh, sandbox mode otherwise we're gonna riot until Frontier does but also some other problems I don't know like I said the pathing tool can be a nightmare to work with sometimes and also terrariums I don't like I think I'll maybe do a video on terrariums later but yeah so in the back we're working on some uh, the actual main exhibit the island and over here what I'm doing is I'm working on a little artificial baobab like a zoo wouldn't actually have like probably have a full grown grandadiers baobab or maybe a mainland Africa baobab they'll probably have like a fake one which I guess you can pretend the in-game ones are just fake baobabs but I wanted to try something with uh, climbing pieces using making a one little fake like baobab shaped wood structure you can see I'm lagging a little bit there I don't know it kinda lags but I was really worried the game was gonna crash that time but anyway I'm using the wood pieces and also those kinda branch split end wood pieces to just make a little baobab tree and I did use the big the baobab they give in the tree for reference so yeah I made this and I copied it over three times and put it in the exhibit and the full mode I'll probably make like a little blueprint so I can just place it down when I want to. I'm definitely going to try and rebuild this exhibit in the full game. And I did use these vines. I heard there will be ropes in the full game but for now you got to make you with the vines and it's quite cool. It's a little finicky to work with. It takes a while to get it where you want to go but it's really cool that we actually have ropes and these climbing structures. I, I'm really impressed by Frontier, the climbing structures. Just I would have really liked to have seen my animals actually been able to climb on them. So yeah, we just have a little bit more building structures going on around the baobabs where the lemurs can climb along and such. But yeah, I don't have much more to talk about. I just hope Frontier actually fix the glitch I have where I can't save. Also every time I come into the game it asks me to make an avatar so now I've just click whatever default random avatar they give me and just put it wherever because it doesn't save anyway so yeah I might make some more planet coaster videos I'm not too sure because I don't know it's a little bit tricky to make them with in my situation but I might try I might try there's also the problem of conservation points like I might not be able to afford animals so I might just make buildings like I think a while ago I did make like a Victorian house thing just for fun couldn't save it which sucks but yeah, so at the end of the video I do have a bit of a walkthrough, like I like I said I tried to record a walkthrough and the game crashed when I tried to adopt to get some staff members to actually bring the lemurs in. So we will see that. You can actually see the a bit of the final product of the exhibit, so yeah. But anyway, yeah now we're just more for a little more plant work. And I think later I do put down some uh, some foliage. Yeah, now we're gonna start working. And I love these new plants. This this plant here, this I think it's called the bracken or bracken fern. That's that's probably one of my favorite new plants now. It just makes such good ground cover. I put it around all the baobabs. You can see what I'm doing here, and it just looks so nice. I I feel like I'm gonna have a problem overusing that plant because oh, I instantly fell in love with that. I do put some other bushes around in there. I like how this exhibit turned out because it kind of seems tropical but still matches the savanna feel of the map. So it's tropical dry forest. I think I kind of got that down. Just with the coloring of the path but then also the nice green plants. And I, I really like how it turned out in that sense. That it kind of is a tropical but still arid feel. Which kind of matches the habitat which le the ring-tailed lemurs do live in. So yeah, we ending the time lapse now and I believe we'll have the uh, kind of walkthrough thing yeah here's it here so 
I am was talking over here so you all see my mouse circle around because I'm talking about such things and I don't know but you can see I did put some foliage in the back to make the exhibit look a little bit nicer we have the signs here yeah unfortunately that path the path did leave a little bit of a brown gap but I put signs in there to fill it up and it actually ended up quite nicely just uh, annoyed again with the path terrain you can't have paths right next to steep cliffs I think in the future I'm gonna have to have planters like the one with the sign on before a cliff which is annoying but I guess it's a workaround but yeah so I don't know what I'm doing I'm talking about stuff so I'm just gonna have to bear with me as I speak I don't I have no control over what's being shown but this is the best I can show of the exhibit anyway I think I'll just let this footage run for a little while and then maybe I'll see you in the next one if I built in Planet Coast. Oh, sorry, not Planet, Planet Zoo. I might just wait for full release because the game's not working well for me. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you either another Planet Coast beta, Planet Coast. I keep saying Planet Coast, Planet Zoo beta video or uh, full release. Bye.